Hello everyone, this is Rocco Pisto from Michigan Watercolor Society and I'm here with Sam Connect at his solo exhibition at the Ella Sharp Gallery in uh, Jackson, Michigan. Hello Sam. Hi Rocco, so great to see you. What I'd like to do is just kind of go through some of the sections because there's, there's portraits, there's landscapes, there's different uh, scenarios that you've created uh, for this show. And uh, how old are some of these pieces? Is this a retrospective show? Uh, marginally, it's retrospective. There are okay. some pieces that I have kept that um, uh, I treasure. And I wanted to take the opportunity of the solo at Ella Sharp to um, kind of bring them out of storage. But uh, I'd say three quarters of the work in the gallery are new paintings within the last three or four years. Okay. But the portraits are, they have a little age and um, they are uh, what I call character portraits in that um, they're not commissioned and uh, I approached each subject at the time to, um, to pose and got their willingness and Participate, participation. So some of these people were art students. Yeah, at a school? couple of them were art students, um, and about half of these, and then others, uh, either neighbors or people I know from the area of Hillsdale where I live. Uh, there's one painting of my uh, framers, my go-to framers, who are in the Toledo, Ohio area. And uh, father and son, actually, the, it's third generation framing business called Deluxe Frame Shop in Waterville, Ohio, a uh, close suburb of Toledo. So, um, you know, I, lo I love the work of, of painters who have done, I guess, what you might call genre paintings, where they're painting people in their environment, uh, sometimes posed, sometimes very natural and candid or unposed and uh, that that's, that's work that I love you know whether it was sure. Sargent or Wyeth and a host of other great American painters tell me people and tell me about this painting behind us right here very intriguing well this uh, yeah the violin maker this one uh, it's kind of a, a Norman Rockwell type of idea we had my wife and I had visited the Rockwell Museum in Stockbridge Massachusetts and on the drive home, we were kicking around some ideas, and, and she said, well, you know, why don't you do a painting of Joe Curtin? Joe Curtin is this fellow who is a luthier, a violin maker, and uh, he keeps a studio in Ann Arbor. So, okay, that's reasonable. And um, so I approached Joe. He, he had made my wife's viola, my wife's a professional musician. And so I got connected with Joe, and he kindly agreed to pose for reference photos of the pose here, but he also let me come and bring my canvas uh, to his uh, uh, downtown Ann Arbor studio, where I painted the, the bric-a-brac, the tools, the stripped down violins, and so on. Okay. So it was a, it was a wonderful great. experience. I just want to tell everyone that the, the sounds they're hearing in the background <laughs> is the uh, dinosaur exhibition in the adjacent room, and it comes with motion and sound. And it's not my stomach rumbling, <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, I think the museum officials were trying to suggest that I was a dinosaur too. 